Hello, this is an AC Fix production. All things relating to this video can be found in the video description, so be sure to check there. All inquiries can be sent to nacyfix at hotmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, YouTube. I last released a video about two weeks ago, and an official video about a month ago. Uh, I am here again to uh, advertise the unveiling of Mozilla Firefox 3.0. I mentioned it in my last video, and I was mentioning the release candidate. Mozilla Firefox 3.0 has been in a huge development phase for a very long time, so I am, I've been shocked. I, I'm shocked to find out that it was uh, just... The final version was released today. I believe they uh, said it was release candidate 3, but then uh, they changed it to Firefox 3.0. So, um, yeah, I, I, if you're using Firefox 2, I definitely highly recommend you go check out the final version of Firefox 3. Sadly, if you have a ton of add-ons like me, I have this bar and uh, all this other crap, you'll probably lose some of it and you'll have to uh, put it all back. That I'm, I'm not sure exactly, so I could be wrong. Uh, let me just install Firefox for myself and I will confirm that. Indeed so, I have lost my bookmarks, which is not that inconvenient, but uh, it's still annoying to have to go back to all the websites, so this is just a warning in advance. If you don't know the names of, uh, like, the links to some of your websites that you have uh, thrown up here in bookmarks, I recommend you get them, put them down on WordPad, and install Firefox 3. The, uh, the installation itself took less than a minute. Uh, shut up, Timmy. It's got a new flashy look. Tiny menu is still compatible. The Firefox seems to be a lot more speedier. This is a lot faster than normal. So what usually, I mean, it's usually this fast when I'm uh, just going about my day. But when I'm running Camtasia, see the problem with Camtasia is that it uh, takes a lot of resources. And it actually slows it down a good bit. A lot of things are glossier, especially the look. It's a lot more clean. Download Helper is still compatible with this. So for anyone that wants to still be able to follow my other tutorial on ripping YouTube videos, uh, never fear. It appears to be compatible. Okay, logged in. Yeah, it's actually pretty fast. Wow. I'm actually very impressed with this, and I, I've been using it for two seconds. Wow, this is great. I also recommend you download uh, a uh, an add-on called Tiny Menu. It makes things a lot more cleaner. Hmm. You may also have to set your configurations back up because, see, I had uh, on privacy. I told it not to remember in, uh, the websites I visited, but and apparently it is remembering them. So. Yeah, you, you'll have to find everything that you once had links to, but or just use some common sense and put them down on WordPad. Overall, I am really impressed with this. Um, this is great. Also, YouTube has released something called Video Annotations, which uh, I find very helpful as a video maker, because you can add little, um, little stuff to your videos, like notes. If you watch some of my videos, you'll notice that um, that sometimes add little um, notes in the bottom that I throw in while making or while editing the video in Windows Movie Maker because maybe I misspoke something, or maybe I said something dumb, or I forgot to say something. You know, something basically a misspeak or a mistake in my speech. So, instead of having to go into um, Windows Movie Maker and throw stuff in there, you can instead add video annotations. Now, I'm still going to put it through uh, Windows Movie Maker to add the beginning and stuff. But, anyway, if you want to add annotations, it you can only do it on your own videos. And, in fact, I'm going to do one on this video. And, in fact, if you visit this video... The Windows XP Service Pack 3 release candidate and Windows Vista Service Pack 1 release candidate released video. If you visit that video, you'll notice the annotation that I put in while making this video. 
Okay, so we're going to add video annotations. It's right under the description and it only appears to you on your videos. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to reach the server. Please wait. Okay, so you got my annoying voice. Yada, yada, yada. Shut the fuck up. And um, so you can add notes, a speech bubble, a spotlight. Now, YouTube has released a lot of stuff. Uh, beta stuff, and um, I've never found any of it useful, so I've never talked about it, but I think this is something that I might actually use, so props to YouTube. If you make tech videos like me, or videos where you routinely screw up and have to edit it, then you might find video annotations very interesting. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I have some new material I'm hoping to put up in the next couple of weeks. Thank you.